always right here on the Outdoor Mentor. We post a new video every day to the Outdoor Mentor, Dustin Apple, and I just love archery, man. If you like it too, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, come on back and see me every single day. Today we're talking about what it would take to get you to start filming your own hunt. You know, it's a big topic. Everybody loves to film. Everybody loves to share content. Um, and you can do it relatively cheap, okay? Um, what's, what's the first thing you need? Well, honestly, your cell phone, okay? You don't need much more than that. Um, what's, uh, you know, what's some awesome accessories for the cell phone, okay? First off, a gorilla mount. You can absolutely mount this anywhere. Wrap it around a tree limb, um, you know, stand it up where you need to. We can do this like we're doing right now, vlog style, okay? I'm actually on my cell phone right now as we speak doing a live video. Um, one, you know, mandatory thing is a phone clamp. Um, you can put your phone in there, clamp it down. Um, you can put it on tripod, of course. Um, but you can also put it on multiple different things. One of the things I wanted to share with you today is, um, a awesome fluid head that I found. Okay. So you've all heard of fourth arrow, right? Um, I have been using, um, the fourth arrow tree arm, um, for a couple of years now. Um, and you know, they've got a decent fluid head on there. Okay. You can see one finger operation, fairly smooth, nothing on there. It's metal. Um, it is a contact fluid head. Is that actually not hydraulic fluid in there? But my biggest problem with it is, you know, you only get one in the kit um, and they want like 80 bucks for it. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of money to be spending on, you know, fluid heads of this quality for 80 bucks. So I found something really cool and I wanted to share with you today. Just uh, just real quick here, okay? They look pretty similar, right? Almost all the way down to, you know, the logo, right? So let me introduce you to a Kingjoy, all right? Now this is absolutely the same, 100%. Um, this is a King Joy 6750. All right, here's the box. I, uh, I actually bought three of these through eBay. Um, we get done editing um, and posting the video. We'll, uh, we'll post a link down below. Um, but these are pretty high quality, man. And I wanted to share with everybody, okay, nice heavy duty um, metal arm. Um, you know, nothing special. But um, what I love about this, okay, it, it's relatively smooth, okay? You can put a, a fairly good sized camera. I think it's rated for like 20 pounds or something like that. Um, that's, that's bigger than anything I'm currently using. Um, they've got, you know, a, a decent um, shoe on them and I, I put them on everything. So, um, like I said, I bought three of these and they perfectly match my fourth arrow um and so you know here's my here's my go to the woods ultra lightweight setup all right i'm using a canon xa11 love this camera um but more importantly we're talking about mounting right now um here's my king joy that's on there all right one hand in and out pan fairly smooth okay now it's not a hydraulic fluid head um like this monfrotto monstrosity all right um once again i'm i'm kind of entering production and i'm you know i'm buying stuff used used camera gears generally pretty good um and so i you know i picked this up for 100 bucks and hey full hydraulic bridge whatever i can put a like a 40 pound camera on this freaking thing but that right there weighs just about as much as that whole tripod does so yeah, uh, sweet little carbon fiber tripod um, and our King Joy mounted on top there with my XA11. Um, this is what I would have went into the uh, ATA show with, okay? I've got my, uh, got my wireless 
uh, lab system up here, but I go to the tree with this all the time. Great setup. Um, this is the uh, one of the newest models from Canon, and it's running around 1100 bucks. Of course, you know, not everybody's ready for that. So what would it take you to get started videoing, you know, directly to an SD card if, you know, say you wanted to step it up, you wanted to do more than a phone? You can always do an action camera, okay, a GoPro, um, even a Tacticam. I think I actually might be switching to Tacticams this season. Um, but um, the perfect little entry level, okay, you can pick this up anywhere. eBay, um, this is a Canon Vixia. Um, this is a 700. I think they have a 600 now. All right. Really, really simple. Um, it's pretty much point and shoot. Um, I bought it in a kit with a wide lens and a like a 2x lens. And, and you can get awesome footage with this, man. 1080p. Um, you know, there, there's really no reason to step into 4K unless you're doing full production, unless you want to do that AVDH whatever it is so it's not crushed files you can actually edit stuff but you know if that's over your head man don't worry about it get out there and start video on something um you can pick this up for like 250 bucks okay 250 to three buy it in a kit um some of the uh, some of the bigger sellers on ebay i can't even think of the names of them but um you know that some really good kits useful stuff for 300 bucks and you can start filming everything basically doing what I'm doing because I've been filming on one of these for, I don't know, three or four years. Um, you know, started the whole other YouTube channel with one, um, 135 videos or something like that, and did relatively well with it, okay? It's not exceptional, but uh, hey, I get my point across. I get to talk to all of you, uh, you know, share my tips and tricks and experiences, and uh, it's a lot of fun. One of the other cool things... Um, about having all your fluids head all your fluid heads match um, is the accessibility of it okay so same fluid head um, and say I want to go live from the tree I, but you know just do an, an interview style or whatever okay phone clamp um, we just go right here on my fluid head you know I can I can mount this up if I want to, uh, if I want to, um, you know, do an after, an after shot. I've killed an animal. Okay, I didn't possibly take my tripod to the woods with me, but hey, I got my camera on. I can mount my camera onto a tree, turn my phone around, you know, um, take good pictures. You can, you know, do a Facebook Live over your kill, um, you know, anything like that. Um, another great feature for and I, I love the cell phone clamp I use it all the time but um, you know just going straight to a tripod I will go um, we'll, we'll have that cell phone clamp um, in my pack okay and just have a shoe on it and just go straight up right here on top of my tripod just like this okay um, turkey hunting in a blind hey that's awesome right there that's all you need okay pull it out of your turkey vest put it up right next to you turn your phone on bow hunting out of a blind for turkeys you know most of your shots within 20 yards it's going to be decent footage it's not going to be bad it's it'll be a lot better than not getting it at all right so uh hey give that a try now as far as tripods go tripods are kind of touchy okay you can start out with the cheapest tripod you can find and you know you're going to fight it because this one um this carbon fiber one it's really strong but it's lightweight and it's hard to um you know keep it stable yes there's a hook on the bottom of it but honestly i'm not going to be carrying a sandbag um, around in the woods with me so um, another thing is always adjusting your fluid head um, to make sure that your shots level all the time so you know i'm i'm adjusting the legs i'm making sure this one's in the hole and making sure everything's nice and straight well one of my favorite purchases that i've made um i actually took that that giant monfrotto off there let me uh let me screw on a king joy here real quick okay good to go um this uh this monfrotto here okay 
Um, as you can see, I've got it all taped up. Now this is an aluminum um, tripod and it's much heavier than the carbon fiber, but this tripod's got a ball mount in the bottom of it. And all I have to do is loosen this on the bottom and I can um, turn the whole fluid head, the knuckle and all right below it, um, tighten up the main shaft here in the center. And now my camera is always, um, it's always level. So I can, you know, move around where I need to. The shot's always level and hey, I'm ready to go. So, you know, what did we spend so far? Let's say 300 bucks to get you in a Canon Vixia, okay? Entry level camera, get you started, all right? These, uh, these King Joys, these 6750s, um, eBay, $33, all right? Can't beat that. Um, whatever you wanna spend on a tripod, hey, get yourself started. And as far as a tree stand arm, okay? You do not need a fourth arrow by any means, all right? It's quality, it's decent, it's nice. Um, if I was running anything bigger than this, I definitely wouldn't be using this because um, it's gonna be right about the top of what this is gonna be able to handle. But if I'm just using one of these, get you one of those little, uh, one of the little quickies, the little, you know, muddy tree stands or the uh, uh, HME makes one, little bitty thing. About that big ain't nothing it's they're like what 15 20 bucks i think hawk makes one too hawk makes some really good products um hawk actually makes one that screws into the tree and then has a quick detach okay uh, it ain't real long it's only about that long it'll go right into a tree um if i'd thought about it i'd had one out to show you um actually i think it's in that bag right there um but uh yeah you don't have to spend a lot of money to get started in the outdoors and start filming but i guarantee you filming will it'll add a level of excitement it will you know it'll increase your experience outdoors and that's kind of what we're all about making sure everybody has a good time and you just got to figure out what it means to you the first time you get an encounter with an animal and you get it on film, or better yet, you get a harvest on film, well, you're pretty much gonna be locked in for life. I guarantee it. Guys, thanks for joining me. This is The Outdoor Mentor. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Hey, this is an outdoor community, and it wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.